Thanks. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's obviously it was a nice finish to last week. Um, you know, it was certainly different to be watching the guys, but really happy with how they did at the back end of the the week. And yeah, a lot of excitement coming into this week. Uh, a lot of you know we're gonna have a, a lot of new Test cricketers tomorrow, so um, that's pretty exciting in itself. Yeah, it's certainly very hot out there. Um, it's a new ground for us uh, as a team. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of strange because in 20 over cricket and 50 over cricket, you're always sort of aiming towards something, whether that's a qualifier or a World Cup. But to actually just kind of play these test matches um, sort of on their own and isolated uh, brings its own challenges, but also an opportunity to just go out and play and, um, and hopefully play good cricket and see where we are at the end of the week. What do you think the greatest challenge will be? I think just the longevity of it all. Uh, a lot of our guys don't have a, a huge amount of first class experience. Um, a five day test match is very different. Um, our guys have been brought up, a lot of them have been brought up in white ball cricket, T20 cricket. Um, so that's sort of, as a batter, kind of setting yourself up to bat for as long as possible and bowlers to be as disciplined as possible. That's going to be the biggest challenge, I think. Um, obviously, the conditions will play a part in terms of the, the heat, but. Um, yeah, these guys need to learn on the job. But that's the difficult part, I think. When was your last round ball game? Uh, Glamorgan. I had a three games with Glamorgan, so that would have been twenty twenty one, sort of April time. What many work out many games we're going to have tomorrow? I have, yeah. Um, we're going to have we're going to have a few. Um, no, we know. I have the I know the eleven, um, but uh, I don't want to reveal too much. I don't think there's any point. Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, it's very, it's an exciting group. Um, we obviously had a good week, end of the week last week, um, so that was great. But certainly, I think, I'm not sure there's going to be many times in recent history that there's going to be, you know, a lot of test debuts that only happens to the new nations would have happened to Bangladesh in the early 2000s um, so it's exciting I think it's we're going to have a, a bit of a get together tonight and do some presentations because I think if we do it in the morning it'll take too long um, so yeah we're, we're very excited it's certainly getting the whites back on and, and dusting off the white pads and uh, we know how good Bangladesh are at test cricket particularly here so um, it'll be a big challenge but exciting as well. Four years for a long time. So does it feel like a they would all together again? Yeah, it sort of does. Um, a lot has happened. We've been through a pandemic. Um, there's been so much change. Players have gone. Players have come in. Um, yeah, there's been a whole a whole change. So that was 2019, and that was a, a memorable occasion for a lot of Irish cricket people, not just the players. Um, and this is memorable as well because uh, you're coming to a big cricketing nation and, and playing against the top team and. Uh, a lot of good test teams have come here and come unstuck, so um, the message has just been to go out and play and not hold too many fears. And like I said, a one-off test match against a the team, there's not, there's not a whole lot to lose, um, so we just want to go out and enjoy it. Yeah, it'll be, it's nice. Um, certainly, um, I was very fortunate to play under William Porterfield for a long time. And, I know how much it meant to him to, to captain the test team. Uh, it's certainly different for me. I haven't done, I don't think I've captained in first class cricket, so that brings its own challenges as well. But um, yeah, it's exciting. It's, it'll be very different, and there'll be times out there when I'm going to have to think on my feet and, and look for help when I'm out there from some of the other players. Uh, but that's part of the challenge of, of being a, a test cricketer. What's the structure back home as well? Are you able to from None. Uh, we're currently not playing any red ball cricket um, since COVID happened. There was a there was a change in uh, approach. We focused all on white ball cricket, and that was fair enough because we didn't have any Test cricket in the pipeline. Certainly now with Test cricket um, becoming more available to us, I think it's certainly something we have to to look to change. Um, I know. I think you learn the fundamentals of cricket in first class cricket. Uh, you know, we have players who have been brought up on T20 cricket and white ball cricket, uh, and that's fine. But if we're going to play four or five test matches a year, hopefully, we need to have that first class structure so our players can um, can get used to playing a lot for a long period of time. Uh, 
Uh, I think it's hard to think of a brand of cricket when you don't play the t test cricket. Um, we've got to go out and just kind of play it as we see it. You don't want to get too complicated. It's, it's kind of ball versus bat. Um, and once we kind of play a few test matches, by the end of, you know, we play two test matches in Sri Lanka after this. And by the end of that test match, we can maybe sit down and say, well, this is where we're good. This is where we're not so good. Let's focus on some strengths and all this sort of stuff. So. Um, it's, it's difficult when you don't play a lot of test cricket to find a brand to play. Um, so we don't want to get our guys too complicated. We just want to go out and, and play it as we see it. Um, naturally, the top teams are going to play more test cricket, so they're going to have a way of playing. And um, we just got to kind of adapt as quick as we can and, and try to counter their strengths as best we can. For a team like Ireland that is outside the World Test Championship, what is the uh, sort of um, sustainable the number of tests that you want to play per year? Is it there's not a number in my mind. I think, going back to my previous question, we need to make sure that there's a first-class structure in place back home before we demand 10 or 15 tests a year because um, we need our guys playing regular red ball cricket. Um, the kind of generation before me, or when I started playing cricket, we were lucky that we were able to go over and play county cricket, so that's where we learned our trade. And That now is not available, and with no red ball cricket at home, it is difficult. So. Um, I think once we get that in place, then we can look at maybe playing a lot more test matches. Um, but it's certainly unique. I think um, we potentially have someone who's going to play tomorrow and it'll be their first class debut. And that's, I can't think of a cricketer who's done that before. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, we've just got to see, see how we go. There's a lot of uh, young players, but uh, Sterling is going to be missing. Like he played the last test match. You guys have shown a little bit in this uh, you know, run. Yeah, he's. I think if he you know, goes out of any Irish team, he leaves a big hole. Um, he's a, certainly one of our best players, um, probably one of the best batters Ireland's ever produced, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to miss him. We're going to miss his kind of cricket brain. He's always someone who's, who's there beside me that I can kind of talk to about the game. He's a smart cricketer, but I think he's not here this week, so we've got to plan without him, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, certainly he'll be a, bit, a big miss. Yeah, well, he, like you said, he brings experience. He's played eight test matches. Um, that's, you know, more than double any of our, you know, I've only played three. Um, and he's played a, a, a number of first class matches. So he has a, I think he played test cricket here as well with Zimbabwe. So he has knowledge of the ground as well. Um, he's really good with the younger guys. He kind of talks to them a lot and he's going to be crucial to the next kind of two or three weeks for us, I think. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think um, I'm not too sure whether they're going to give it another cut today, but um, yeah, look, it's we've we've done the homework on the ground itself, um, but at the same time, a lot of it is just when we get out there, we've got to adapt pretty quickly whether we bat or bowl first. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it plays, but um, yeah, I don't I don't get too carried away with the surface. I think we just have to focus on our kind of selves and and deal with it when we get out there. Uh, well, certainly we, you know, we rate them as a very high opponent. They've showed that, uh, you know, they're a very, very uh, organised team in, in both formats in the white ball. Um, test cricket, they, they have a great record here. Um, so, we, look, we don't have a set. I'm not going to come out here and say we, we're, we're setting out to win the game. We want to compete for as long as we can. Um, you know, naturally, you want to be part of an Irish team that wins a, a first test match, but we know how difficult that's going to be. You have to play well for long periods of time. Um, so that's kind of a big challenge for us is to stay in the game for as long as possible. And when we do get that chance, whether with the bat or ball, um, we can, can capitalise and, and make it count. But uh, yeah, we, we realise we're going to have to be pretty good uh, for a long period of time out here. Andrew, Bangladesh obviously has a good state like this on the chart. So does it inspire you more to show you matters? 
Yeah, I think um, this will be the fourth country we've played in Test cricket. Um, England and England was tough. Pakistan, our first Test match, and Afghanistan away. So um, it's always nice to play a new nation um, in Test cricket. It's you know it'll be in the history books. Um, but yeah, we know how good a team they are. They're um, they they've got some really good players. They brought in some Test specialists, and we've had a good look at a couple of their seamers who are in their squad as well and their spinners. So um, we'll know what to expect in terms of. Um, kind of looking at the bowler if you like but yeah test cricket is a different is a different challenge and um, yeah I think I think just the overwhelming things excitement you want to play the best teams um, all the time and I think in Bangladesh they've got a really good test team Andrew uh, Afghanistan earlier beat Bangladesh in their second test I hope so. I think um, Afghanistan obviously have a lot of spinners to choose from, um, so naturally in these conditions they, they're a force to be reckoned with. Uh, we saw that firsthand when we played them in Derridan, I think it was, in 2019. So I don't think, I don't think Bangladesh are the sort of team to take anyone lightly, uh, from what I've seen. Um, a number of their squad and their test squad would have had a good look at us in the one day squad. So. Uh, there's probably a lot of info there. There's probably not a whole lot of red ball info in our squad, so that might be a bit of a surprise factor. But um, yeah, I'm sure they'll do their homework. They're professional and experienced enough. Cheers, guys. Thank you.